Hi, I'm going to do another current obsession video because I am now in love with family ties. I'm pretty much addicted to classic television. Um, I love um, like the 80s sitcoms and I love loose, I like all the old sitcoms. I think they're hilarious. I think the writing was so much better. I include Friends in the classic television thing because I think Friends was a classic before. I mean, while it was on TV because it was just like part of life and ER, I consider a classic TV show. Um, Home Improvement has been named a classic TV show, so that counts too. But, um, I love old sitcoms. Um, I grew up with, on Home Improvement, like I said, I watched every episode of Home Improvement on, when it was on TV live. And, um, I don't do that too much now. Like, I watch a TV show for a little bit, and then I kind of get tired of it and I stop watching. Um, mostly sitcoms, that kind of thing, like How I Met Your Mother, I was into it and I'm not now, and, um, it's just, for a while, it's just the same stuff over and over and over again. But, um, classic TV, they had more to do, I think. They don't have many issues now that they can talk about, because everything now isn't as shocking. Um... Because they have like teen pregnancy now and they wouldn't really be a shocker on any sitcoms now, like family sitcoms because it's happened and known and the, the girls get their own shows for that. I don't know why, but they do. But um, Family Ties, uh, Facts of Life, all those sitcoms in the 80s, they just talked about real things that were happening then. That was a big deal, like um, premarital sex and anorexia and eating disorders. And on family ties, you have the fa the parents who are hippies who have these belief systems, and then you have their son played by Michael J. Fox, who's more conservative, and he believes what the government has to say, and he's more political than they want him to be. But it works, they work well, and um, they just had a little more of a different approach to TV back then. There were different situations, different families, and you could relate to each family differently, each character differently, and now you kind of have shows that aren't family oriented, they're more adult, and they don't have many big issues anymore, they just kind of, I don't know, it just, everything is just normal now. I am, I just like back then when they would address issues that were important. Um, really like back to family ties, I love the parents. They're kind of like who I would want to be, I think. Um, I agree with everything the parents believe in, I believe, I like strongly believe in everything that they believe in. Um, and I love that they don't stop protesting things because their parents, they believe in something, they're going to go out and they're going to uh, let people know how they feel and um, I just love it. I just, Michael D. Fox, he was 17 at the time, maybe he was a little, I don't know. But, um, he was so cute, and he was 17, and he was so funny, and I love how he introduced himself always as Alex P. Keaton, and he never, he always has to have the P in there. Um, and, um, I found out that Monica, yeah, Monica Baxter and Michael Gross have the same birthday. They were born on the exact same day. <laughs> Same different hospitals, but I think that was awesome. They're the same age and it's so cool. Um, and then the youngest daughter, Jennifer, she had the same birthday as me, but obviously older than me. But I thought that was cool too. Um, I just love this show a lot. And 
I recommend it on Netflix right now. It's how I'm watching it, by the way. Um, and it's good. I'm almost on the first season. It's really fun. It's really fun. I wish they put the facts of life on Netflix. You need to do that right away. Because I'm going to lose my mind. Because I can't find some episodes on YouTube. But, um, yes. That's all for this. Goodbye. Mm.